What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here to break down this week's sneaker releases in terms of bricks or flips. Bricks mean they're not worth the buy and we'll probably end up reselling for just around retail or under. Flip meaning you're definitely going to guarantee yourself some pretty decent profits at 20 plus dollars. I know we got to we gotta bring down our criteria as sneaker releases are getting a little bit more dry throughout the beginning of this month. That's usually what happens every single January or so. First couple of weeks of the new year are just tend to be really, really slow from a lot of the big brands. So that's why we see a lot of really is coming down in terms of volume and in terms of demand as well but let's get right into it and if you guys want to take a reselling game to the next level you want to start flipping other stuff than just sneakers but flip shoes at the same exact time we got you covered in my group time boy tv plus you can check us out on instagram and twitter along with tiktok reviews we're going to start getting that up and popping as well but once again this week really is nothing too crazy to tell you the honest truth but we're going to try to find you some of the goodies First and foremost, we got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Lost and Found dropping on Chic via an app raffle. If you don't know how they work, they're going to be opening up on the 10th, which is this Tuesday. And it basically, it's like a first come, first serve raffle. You kind of just want to get your information as soon as possible. Click size, click enter draw, and that's about it. It's a really, really weird process, really weird system that I honestly don't fully understand myself. Basically, you just do it as fast as you possibly can. And it's essentially a draw within a couple, like 10, 15, 20 minutes. You'll be notified through the app if you actually did win. So maybe you'll get lucky catch a lost and found for retail honestly i don't expect stock to be too high so don't really get your hopes up but once again still a very very great flip going into the new year market pretty much has stabilized on lost and founds uh so i pretty much don't see them really going up or down due to this restock so i pretty much say they're very very once again safe bet nonetheless then we also got great school sizes as well during the same exact process a really quick like first come first serve app draw raffle my best advice is just basically have the app downloaded and be signed into your account and once again delphine great flip over here as well market on these is also pretty steady no matter what really happens even though there is a rumored sneakers shock drop of the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds this week, either through a reserve event or through a shock shop. All the information is once again covered in the group Timeway TV+. Plus. But in terms of the public knowledge, that's TBA. It's kind of just like rumors going around right now. Will that actually affect market? I think it'll affect it a bit, but not by much. Once again, Lost and Founds are just really in good high demand. Supply and demand is pretty much balanced out at a lot of the price points that we see in all the sizes. So once again, for the most part, I'd say it's pretty much stable at this time. Then we move on to a very unusual looking Nike Dunk Low, which will only be dropping in little kid sizes with the retail price tag of 80 us dollars dropping on tuesday at 10 a.m and these are pretty much a brick i would really not go too crazy on these maybe get a few lucky pre-sales in but as you can see there really isn't much of a pre-sale market here established and if it is it's pretty much selling damn near close to retail so once again i pretty much stay away from this drop once again really only happening on the nike app as well then the middle of this week does get really calm and then on friday we have the stussy and timberland collaboration which just got announced a day ago you can see there'll be two different colorways right here really not much else known about about these Stussy is a Shopify site dropping first come first serve and expect Timberland to drop these on their site as well and in terms of the resale value on this shoe it's really really tough to get a good grasp on because if you look at other previous Stussy Timberland collaborations they aren't actually Stussy collabs except this one right here this is the Stussy Deluxe then you have this a six inch boot wheat white Never even knew these actually dropped. I didn't even know these existed, but this is the six inch boot. So it's a little bit of a different silhouette than we have dropping this Friday. This looks more like a hiker silhouette. This is more your typical six inch boot that everyone's a fan of. And only a size nine list and nothing really else out there that I could have found. So once again, though, you can kind of gauge it off the whole interaction comments of it all. It seems all right. Nothing too crazy. Uh, they're really kind of like a Euro hiker boot. I don't think they'll sell out too fast. I do honestly think they'll probably end up being a brick for this week unless you catch some really good early pre-sales or kind of just get a good lucky sales in there. But once again, once online orders come in, I don't expect much from them. Then we'll move on to the Air Jordan 1 High OG True Blue retailing at a price tag of $180. It's another journal one high that is just going to do really, really shallow numbers. Unfortunately, it is what it is. A really cool box, really cool color white dropping in a full big kids, men's, little kids, and toddler sizes. You can see all the retail price tags on the screen, but the most important retail prices are going to be grade school sizes at 140 and men's at 180 dropping this Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's, you know, it's. I think it's a really good, so I think it, you know, I think it has potential. The color looks good. 
Once again, if it dropped two years ago, you guys know my saying, it would be going for great, great margins. This time around, however, once again, Journal 1 high hype is just not there anymore. A couple big sizes might get you a good couple orders in. Once again, if you can sell these locally, consignment stores, anywhere else besides StockX or Alias or Goat, then I'd say you're pretty much good to go. Because once again, on the apps, I don't think these will do good at all. We might even see 50% off fees going into this weekend. Because that's usually what StockX tends to do going into like a bigger Jordan Retro release. And then the same time and date, which is a little bit unusual to have two Jordan Retros releasing at the same time and date. But this one is a one mint. It is the Jordan 5 Dunk on Mars. Retailing at a price tag of $200 and just another Jordan slow that I don't have a ton of faith in either. Jordan 5s really haven't been too hot lately, especially women's Jordan 5s. I don't recall one that's done really, really well at all. And then like women's Jordan retros besides a four or a three or a one relatively never, ever, ever tend to do that good. It's really like a unicorn type of thing if they do well. Now, early market on these is looking pretty interesting in terms of asks. The bids are just entirely not there at all. You can see this is pretty much where I see market going, under retail, without a doubt. Uh, if you can catch some early orders in, get some pre-orders in on eBay, stuff like that, then I'd say you're pretty much good to go. But once again, another shoe, if you rely on the apps like StockX Go Alias, not a good buy. But if you rely on apps like eBay, local marketplaces like Facebook, offer up and let go, then you're probably a little bit better off right there. Once again, it's most likely going to be a brick for the majority of people out there. Then last but not least, we have a new Nike SB collaboration, and this time it is with Pawn Shop Skate Co. They'll be dropping this Friday at Select Skate Shops, and uh, they'll be dropping on Pawn Shop. They have their own little raffle going on in store as well. Uh, really interesting, you know, we don't see really too many Dunk High collaborations that much. We see more or less a focus on SB Dunk Lows, which I'm a bigger fan of. Dunk Highs really don't get a lot of interest at all, and really don't see a great amount of, uh, you know, just demand out there, period, no matter what it is. Like, the most notable one I can remember recently is the Faust SB Dunk highs and those ended up at under retail unfortunately i see these ending up probably the same route asks right now look pretty decent but once again the bids just aren't there and i just see market kind of coming down to where the bids are at pretty much under retail these will be retailing at 130 us dollars dropping at skate shops and once again pawn shop skate co themselves and that pretty much rounds out this week. It's a very, very short one and not a ton of heat going down. And later on this week, I'm going to have an early in-hand review of some unreleased Yeezys. So that'll be pretty interesting. Make sure you stay tuned to that. Please hit the subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate you all. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.